here is the new Chav, the cheap, hacky AV synth. Um, totally new version, built from scratch. There's a ton of stuff to do, so I'm going to go really fast. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen this before, this is an audio-visual synthesizer uh, based on a hacked VGA signal, test signal generator. And what it does is it takes six oscillators, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it allows you to patch them into red, green, and blue to make lines and patterns. Uh, it's audio-visual. It makes video and sound at the same time. So, uh, one of the updates with this is each of the oscillators it has its own sort of character or identity. There are two VCOs uh, that are frequency modulatable. There are two LFOs, slower guys, um, and two utility oscillators. Everything can be selected. Uh, you can select two different frequency ranges with these switches. So you can get a little bit of um, high frequency even out of the LFOs, but the VCOs are meant to be high frequency, the LFOs are meant to be lower frequency, uh, and these oscillators are just sort of vanilla right in the middle. Um, useful ranges. Each of the oscillators, again, has a frequency select. It has a, you know what, I'm going to get to that later, and it also has um, sync headers here. So each of the sync headers can allow you to assign to sync and oscillator to vertical sync, horizontal sync, or ground. And let's look at that. And you know what, why don't I just run through each one of these right now. Here's um, VCO1, uh, VCO1, VCO1. I'm going to connect it to red. And look at that, we can control the frequency with this pot. Uh, here's LFO, here's um, oscillator 1, VCO2, LFO2, oscillator 2. And again, each one of those can be controlled with these pots. So there's VCO1. Uh, one of the cool things, actually, let me show you a little trick. I'm going to take the jumpers off of the um, pin, the patch pins. You can touch them with your fingers and, uh, you know, make control them that way, which is kind of fun. Um, I'm going to put that back to a horizontal sync. Horizontal sync is good for making vertical lines. Go figure. Uh, so we got like these nice synchronized vertical lines. And these are synchronized to vertical sync. And we get these horizontal lines. And then when it's grounded, the oscillator is free running. You can also do some crazy stuff like take uh, one oscillator. Or let's take an LFO. I'm going to take an LFO and use that to sync this oscillator. Yay, it's a rave. Um, okay, so... Hey, buddy. Okay, cool. Now, uh, let me put this back. Horizontal. And then we'll take that um, vertical oscillator. And send it out here. Cool. Um, this is the, the switch I was talking about before. The output caps um, can filter a little bit. There we go. And uh, they control the thickness of the lines and also the sound a little bit. Um, I accidentally hit the um, frequency button um, of the test signal generator, and that, that's what that did before. Sometimes if you got a weird pattern and you hit that button, it'll clean things up a little bit. So, let's look at what makes this a VCO. A VCO is voltage controllable. Um, and this one is voltage controllable, but it also is controllable by light. There's a light dependent resistor there, and that can control the frequency of the oscillator. In audio rate, you can, um, it's kind of nice. But let's put it back to video rate. Boop. Uh, we can take one of our LFOs and patch it into the frequency modulation. And then our LFO is controlling that LED, and then controlling the frequency of that oscillator. Uh, we can also sync it, and then we get like these kind of cool frequency modulation patterns. Um, to the 80s, man, rad. Um, also, one of the big uh, innovations with this version is I got these uh, assignable pots over here that can do all sorts of crazy stuff. I, I talked about these things in an old video, 
but now they're built into the circuit. So here I got my vertical lines. Uh, I'm going to instead put that into the leg of one of these pots. I'll take the wiper uh, out and assign that to a color. And then I'll take the other leg and connect it to an unused ground pin, one of these other oscillators. And then I got a little attenuator. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Um, and that can control the volume, right? If this was uh, an audio rate, get in audio rate, then you can hear it's controlling the volume. So that's a fun thing. I shouldn't have pulled that before I showed you something else, but I'll get I'll get back to that. I'll get back to that. Here's another cool thing that can be done. I'm going to take one of the oscillators, send it out to a color. Uh, this is oscillator one. Cool. Now, watch this crazy stuff. Instead of patching it directly out to an oscillator, I'm going to patch it into one leg of the LDR, take the other leg of the LDR, send that back out to the color. Then I'll take an LFO and send that out to the uh, LED. And then we have like a like little key generator here. It's a VCA, but now it's synced and it's creating a key. If we let it free run, you can see it's making a VCA, voltage controlled amplifier. If we put this in uh, audio rate. Cool. Okay. So, good. Cool. Uh, I want to show you some other things with these with the assignable pots too. Just some cool ideas. Um, let me take my VCO back out, send it to a color, um, send it to red. There. Let's turn this back. There we go. Okay. Let me turn it down a little bit. We were having a party before. All right, so watch this. We'll send this into the wiper of the pot. And then uh, send one of these out to red, one of the legs. Send the other leg out to green. And now we can sort of fade it between the colors. And we get orange in between um, and yellow. There's yellow, orange, green. Um, or we could connect it to blue. And then uh, we should get purple there in the middle. Yep. Cool. Uh, so that's one thing we could do. We can also do something like take one VCO, send it to a leg, take the other VCO, VCO2, send it to the other leg, and then take the wiper and connect that to a color. And then we can um, sort of fade between between the two oscillators. Um, here we'll make that one one different frequencies, right? Yeah, and then we can fade between. And because there are two of them, you can start doing some crazy complex patches, like uh, I'll take the output of that guy and hook it up over here and plug this thing in here. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Everything's plugged into everything. Uh, and we can start making some cool uh, little like modular modular patches get on there cool yeah what did I just make a weird it's like changing the frequencies and the colors at the same time okay uh, I want to also talk about these jacks uh, because they can be assignable too right now they're all jumpered so that when I plug things into red green and blue uh, red green and blue jacks uh, go out to an audio mixer and then you can hear them but 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 we can use these to send things in also. For instance, uh, I got my little uh, the Gretzkenator contact mic here. Uh, let's turn that on. And I'm going to take the red jumper off of here. I'll plug in a patch cable to the red jack. And then I'll, let's see, plug this into green. I gotta, uh, I gotta plug it into something. Okay, 
So, um, there. cool. So now the contact mic is uh, the sound from the contact mic is coming into the green jack. Um, this can also be used to modulate things too. Like if I take this over to um, light up my LED. Now it's lighting up my LED, and I could use that as the um, gate trigger, or I can use it to control the frequency of the oscillator. Um, again, it's kind of fun in audio rate. You can hear like the amplitude of the contact mic will control the frequency of the oscillator. Whoa, it's too crazy. Must stop it. Um, so you could go, you know, play hockey and it would make video patterns good times. Uh, also, we can uh, integrate with Eurorack this way too. So let's plug the right cable in this time. I'm going to take this cable. I will plug it into a Eurorack oscillator. Uh, and let me patch this jack out. I'll patch it back to green again. That's already hooked up. So I got a Euro, Euro rack oscillator, a little sine wave going in there. But it's free running, you say. Yes, yes. Uh, let me take this jumper off, uh, and I'll plug an unused um, vertical. Let's plug it into the right thing. Cool. Now we're synced. Um, I'm sending vertical sync out to the sync input of my Euro rack oscillator. And now I got a hard synced oscillator. Um, some oscillators might be fast enough for you to use horizontal sync. Um, this one can barely get up there, uh, but it starts smearing a little bit because it's an audio rate oscillator. It's not meant to do video. So that's that. You know, cool. Um, another fun thing to do on this. I implemented something from the tutorial that hasn't been in any of these versions yet. Um, there's this background button that changes the background. Um, we can control that with an LFO now, too. So, it's like a fun thing to do. There. Cool. There's the chav. Um, doing some fun things. Cool. Uh, so there it is. Um, not bad for a tiny little cheap thing. I'm going to have these for sale on my site, though, which was never the intention. Um, it was always meant to just be free. Um, but I've learned some tough lessons giving things away for free. There are some jerky, not nice people out there. Um, so, you know, sadly, uh, I'm turning into a capitalist, but it's going to be really cheap anyway, so don't worry about it. All right, peace.